Hello, welcome to my channel. Now today I'm going to show you uh, my Modbus to Home Assistant configuration. So, if you're like me, a little nerdy, and you have a PLC laying around, maybe you want to use that uh, and uh, go through the Modbus from the Home Assistant to the PLC. Or maybe you, you are just interested. Anyway. I had a Schneider Electric P34000 PLC laying around and a Link 150 from Schneider Electric and I wanted to connect um, an old power management device. I'll link it in the description. And uh, I wanted to surveillance my drain pump in the garage i wanted to connect it to the home assistant but i didn't didn't know how and then i remembered that i oh i have the plc and the link 150 laying around maybe i should try that but uh, i wanted to try and i made it work but when i searched for information online it was very limited so that's why i'm making this short information clip um, to show you that it's possible and uh, if you have similar questions uh, please uh, let me know in the comments and i will try and uh, cover them because this is not going to be in depth this is just going to show you that what i have done anyway the link 150 i it's not something you have laying around at home or that you want to go and buy um, I happen to have it and uh, I don't know I don't remember how many devices it can uh, hold but it's a lot and I connected my power management to, uh, device through that one and uh, the link 150 you can see here is in my network uh, uh, 0.2 and the one is a slave address so the slave address is the unit outside the link 150 uh, receiving the, all the signals specified in the registers for that particular device uh, but with that I can read the voltage the amps the Hertz uh, how many watts it's consuming and so on and so forth which means every time it pours down rain which is usually in the middle of the night I don't have to go out to see that my pump is actually working now I can sit inside and see but of course I didn't want to run to my computer uh, to go online on the PLC to see it I wanted to see it in my home assistant and that's why I started to play with the Modbus interface in the home assistant which led me to this so all these signals I am sending to my uh, to my home assistant as you can see here I have set it up in a separate folder just just for Modbus and uh, this here is my PLC and uh, this is the Modbus signals I'm sending to it uh, it has a lot to do with my drain pump I have just tried different stuff I have also uh, information and status about my alarm my house alarm my uh, the detection motion detection in the garage for exam example and down in the garage I also have a Zigbee uh, flooding sensor which is also sending I'm sending that signal to the PLC as well the initial thought was to control the pump from the PLC or have the PLC as a middleman between the home assistant and the pump uh, I don't know which is most preferable but this is the way I have set it up now I just wanted to try uh, I also said I'm also sending multiple signals from the PLC if the pump is running how much time is left my level transmitter consumption Hertz yeah you you name it you can get it <coughs> but another thing that I wanted to have in my PLC for just for my own uh, amusement was uh, uh, the outside temperature which currently sits at 35 degrees yes it's hot I live in Greece not nevertheless I wanted to have it in order to do that I had to make an automation so when my uh, uh, Zigbee outside temperature see now it's triggered changes attribute it uh, calls the service Modbus right register I just put 300 as an address it's slave one my PLC the temperature the value of the sensor and my hub and uh, that gives me the temperature inside with the same address as uh, I'm sending from the home assistant 300 outside temperature I'm also sending at the same t when that changes attribute I'm also sending a level sensor 
that I have connected to my uh, home assistant. It doesn't need to be sent that many times, but I just wanted to try and see if that it works. Because the outside temperature sensor is the one that changes state all the time. And uh, with that, I can send the, the Modbus signal to my home to my PLC. I also have my uh, motion detection in the garage from my uh, home alarm panel into my PLC, which you can see here, uh, just for fun, just for try. And since I set it up, it has changed uh, over 3000 times. Maybe not really necessary, but hey, why not? You want to play around? You want to play around? That's, that's the way it is. In my home assistant, I also open and close my garage doors and I have sent that trigger signal to my, uh, I'm sending that trigger signal between my PLC and my uh, home assistant as well. So I can also close and open the garage doors from my PLC. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, not in depth in, in anything, just to show you that the possibilities are endless on what you want to do. Maybe you already have a PLC set up for some reason, or you have one laying around, or you want to do something else with the Modbus registers and signals in the Home Assistant. Like I said in the beginning of the video, video, please, please let me know if if you have any questions about this, or if you have any questions specifically uh, regarding the Link 150 unit from Schneider uh, connected to the PLC. Uh, I will make my best to do an in-depth video of whatever you want. The goal is to try and uh, get the information more available, more understandable, because what I found is I really had to puzzle everything together. Uh, I'm not sure this video will make you any smarter if you had any questions from the beginning, but please again let me know in the comments. I will for sure try and answer it as good and as well as I can. You go about and have a good day and uh, I hope I can do something more uh, that can help you in the future. Have a great day.